Good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, world. Oh, mercy. Well, praise the Lord. This morning, I'm just really excited about the Lord. Um, what is up on me is I wanted to encourage someone today. Uh, my voice sounds tired because um, I've been in some warfare. I'm just going to go straight, straight to it. Um, been in warfare. And I know that there are some that will come on and um, feel as though you've been in warfare as well. Not feel as though you are, have been in warfare. Um, staying, you know, watching and praying, it, it's something that, you know, as an intercessor and a warrior, something that it, it don't, does not cease. There are times the Lord will give us um, time to to rest, but then um, you get back right back up again and you stay on the wall watching and praying. Um, many warriors and intercessors are misunderstood. Um, and we can just even take the title and the name out, but though the watchmen on the wall are a lot of times are misunderstood, regardless of of what your title is, whether you be in the church or um, or you just watching and praying. Um, God does need those people watching and praying. He needs a vessel. But I, but I want to encourage you. Um, this is what's up on me, and, I, and I'm, and I'm going to get this out this morning. Um, but I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, and I bless you for who you are. You are King of kings, and you are Lord of lords. There is just none nowhere like you, O oh God. There is none that can compare to how, just how awesome and just how mighty that you are, O oh God. For you rule and you reign all by yourself. You are El Shaddai, you're Elohim. You're Jehovah Jireh, you're Jehovah Tiskanu. You are Jehovah Rapha. You're Jehovah Mechadeshim. And oh God, I bless you this morning for this is the day that you've made it. And we shall continually to rejoice and be glad in this day. And of those who will come on the to listen to the words that come out of this mouth, oh God. God, I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. It just got lighter. In Jesus' name, amen. So what has been up on me, what was on me is that what do you do when you're in this in a storm? Um, the job I work on, I deal with people that that are in the midst of storm, running from the storm. Business um, business deals are they can't get to business deals. They can't get to to assignments because of storms. Um, because the weather stops them from getting to where they're going. Um, and, and there's nothing they can do about it. It's just to be still. There are times there's nothing you can do about it. It's to be still. Because sometimes when, when you're flying or whether you're, you're on a train, you're in a bus, you can't get through the traffic. You can't get, you can't get on the, the, the flight because the flight needs to de-ice. And, or, or, and, and so it causes a delay. It causes air traffic control. Or the train can't go because it's, maybe it's too ice or maybe there's been a horrible accident. Or even if you're on a, if driving in a car, there's been a horrible accident. There's been a breakdown. The engine stops. What have you. There are times... When we just got to be still, everybody have these different season in, season in our lives. Either we need to be still, God needs to show you you, God needs to show you them, or God is just, God is, in, in all of it, God is trying to get our attentions. And sometimes we go and we go and we go and we go and just keep going and we keep going. The God is saying, I'm trying to get your attention. So there are times God will allow these great storms to come in our lives to work. You can't do nothing to be, but be still. Spoke to a few people. <clears throat> hotels were full. So the lady tells me she's upset, but she's not upset. She has to stay in the airport for three days because she can't get out. Sometimes we just need to be still. Sometimes we'll keep pushing. We'll keep fighting because we're trying to do the same thing that worked last year or the same thing that worked three years ago. And it's not working because God will shift things on you. And so I'm going to talk about me. And some people, like I said, some intercessors and warriors um, are, are just people of, that serve the Lord. We are just peculiar people and we are misunderstood. But I want to say that this place here, and I know that there's some people that will, that, that will come on and listen, can, can agree with me, that this storm or this shift that's taking place, it's important that you got to line yourself up with God's word. You got to line your life up with God's word. It's not what somebody else is doing. It's not what somebody else thinks. It's not even what you think. It's what God wants. Those who say yes to the Lord. I cannot speak for those who didn't say yes to the Lord because you're going to keep on going through until you get it, until you just surrender. And then it's real. It, and it is what it is. And I was talking to somebody the other day. You know, many people will come for deliverance. Many people will come for healing, but they still won't stop what they're doing. 
They're going to go back doing what they used to do. And then once these demons that have attacked them and stripped them to pieces, and then they run and say, hey, can you pray? Can you basically cast this devil out of me? Because sometimes we just don't want to stop. You know, and I'm going to talk about those that are in the forefront as, as well. Those of us who, who people are looking up to, those of us that people say, you know what? Can you please pray for me? We have got to line our lives up with the word of God. You know, I've, I had to go to a meeting on what well, today is Thursday. I had to go to a meeting on this week. That meeting shook me. And when I said that meeting shook me because I was like, oh, y'all can't do nothing to me because I'm anointed. You know, you can't do nothing to me because, hey, if you do something to me, you know, the wrath of God going to come up on you. The devil is a liar. Because those, you know, even, you know, I got to line some things up in my life. I was, you know, wasn't something I was sending, but I got to honor and respect what God has done in my life. And so, you know, I had this mentality at first. And the Lord said to me, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? My phone was shut off. I was like, man, before going into me, the ang sent nobody nothing to pray for me. And God spoke to me. He said, do you believe in me? Oh, yes, I do. God said, when I called you, um, who, who, who laid hands on you? I was by myself. So I'm saying that to say, those of us, sometimes we get into this mentality. You can't do nothing to me because of this. Matter of fact, I listened to something the other day. This woman came on was saying, I curse this and that. I'm, I'm thinking, your life is so jacked up, you can't curse nothing. Because the thing is this, if you're not serving the Lord, you got to be careful with coming out your mouth. If you are not serving God, if your life is not lining up with the word of God and you're entertaining demonic forces, you need to be careful what comes out your mouth. Matter of fact, all of us need to be careful. And it goes for me included. But anyways, I'm on my way to this meeting. I'm thinking, I ain't asked nobody to pray for me, pray with me or nothing. God's saying to me, you know, I got you. But you need to, I, I'm, I'm doing this to get your attention. God will get our attentions on things. So he will allow us storms. He will allow these storms to take place. Now I talk about Joe. I'm not talking about losing everything. I'm not, for we you even go there because I'm a private person. I don't tell people a lot of things that's going on in my life. But, but God's been helping me to look at Job's life. And the thing is, he was like, well, if you take this from him, is he still going to serve me? Job still served the Lord. Matter of fact, his wife tried to get Job to curse God because, and the thing is, some people, with this, this spirit, a, a Job wife, mentality a job wife spirit because sometimes when you go through so much and servants of god also hear this even if it was possible even the very elect would be deceived in this hour that we are in so job's wife want him to curse god and die because of all the stuff they were going through and some people that are serving the lord I know it's heavy and I know, I know your back feels like it's against the wall and it feels like there's no way out. And it's like, when will this stop? When will this cease? Will the pressure cease? No, it won't. But will you change? Will you make a shift? I didn't put my hair on. I didn't put no makeup on. I didn't do my, I didn't put no lipstick on. It's just me. It's, it's Anita. Here I am right here. And I'm going to say whatever God and got bangs. Oh, my God, the bangs popping out of my head. But anyhow, God says, in the midst of your storm, will you make a shift? The power church, you know, um, apostles call worship. Worship at a time where people don't want to come out. Will you make a shift? Will you make a shift in your life? The shift is maybe going into worship so God can speak to you, so God can get you cleaned up. Maybe not run into the altar for somebody can lay hands on you. Maybe you need to get in the face of God, get in his word. God is me. It's me. It's me. I, it's not my title. It's me. I say, God, search me. God, let Anita see Anita. This is what you need to do, Anita. And I said, okay, God, I, 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 I hear you. And God said, God literally asked me a question before I went into this meeting. God asked me, do, what do I want to do? And I, and I responded to the Lord. Because all of a sudden, I, I was snapped back into, I was snapped into reality. I was, I was snapped into reality of, of some things about Anita. Because sometimes you can go and go and go and go and go. You know, wh whatever that they're going may be. Whatever that you're going is. And God has to snap you back. He has to allow some storms to hit your life. To see, do you really love Jesus? Because sometimes you can preach the gospel. Sometimes you can keep going and going and going and going and doing whatever that they're going is and doing. And then all of a sudden, when something happens, what are you going to do? Are you going to go back to doing what you used to do? 
that worked? That what you did in the world, that worked? Or are you going to shift and allow God to shift you? And allow God to do whatever he needs to do with that shifting in your life. Allow God to speak to you. Because some people are dibbling and dabbling in some witchcraft. I know people don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. I knew a great woman of God. Oh, my God, everybody knew her just being powerful anointed. But she was working witchcraft on her husband. She sure was. She sure, he kept on saying, I feel witchcraft. Well, it was right in his face. His wife, she wanted him to stop committing adultery. So she was working witchcraft on her husband. Well, she's gone now, you know. God have mercy. You know, but some of us are doing things and we need to stop. God says, I'm trying to get your attention, but will you listen? I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. Because he reigned on the just and the unjust. My heart, my heart hurts up for the unjust. But the thing is, is that those who know God, we're so righteous, we're so we're so high-minded sometimes that we feel like, oh, if somebody do this to us, this is going to happen to them. That just might be true. That just seriously might be true. Because when somebody comes against God's servant, things do come up on them. They do get attacked. But let us line up with God's word. I know the stuff going on with the government, people who dependent upon the government. Wait, nothing in my nose. But people who dependent upon the government, what are you doing? Those who dependent upon the government, is that your God? Oh, shit, take a rabba, shut up. Is the government your God? Shut up, God has to get our attentions. He has to get our attention. Hello, I am here. I ain't changed. I never change, but I need you to worship me. I need you to seek my face. I need you to turn your plate down and I need you to fast and seek me. Fast and seek me for your life, fast and seek me for your family. Fast and seek me for the ministry. Fast and seek me for the sake of the kingdom of God. And some people are coming, they be like, you know what, I'm going through so much. I'm just wondering when it's going to stop. Well, the thing is, is this. If we marry, you're one. Husband and wife. If you're single, God's supposed to be first. But when you're single... And you dibbling dabbling late at night, it's the honest to God truth, and you know it. And you dibbling dabbling late at night, you doing you fornicating. Let me just say it you fornicating, or you know, or, or even let's just say you, you know, some people say I've been celibate all these years, and however, but they entertain these spirits in the wee hours of the night, or they entertain these videos in the wee hours of the night. Do you, that, I'm telling you something. If you're entertaining some videos, oh, I promise you, that's one devil that don't want to let you go. That demon don't want to let you go. I promise you on that one. Entertaining those demons, you're going to have to stop, man or woman of God. And we're going to have to line our lives up with God's word. And the thing is, many say, you don't understand. Oh, really? Well, first of all, I'm just to tell you a little bit about me, okay? Um, I got married at 16 divorce okay and i married my children's father now one thing i can say and we did not have sex until we got married bless the lord on my soul and so i've been married before but i'm single now no man my children has never ever seen a man coming in and out at my, our home they've never seen it before because that's the choice i made because my children oh my children are watching and I want my children to walk upright. I want my son to walk upright. I want my daughter to walk upright. Not saying I was perfect in my life when I when I when I when I uh, divorced the first time when I was a teenager, got married. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Anyway, it's another story. But I I I, I just I, I listened to the instructions of my grandmother. You know, not saying that I was perfect, but I'm I'm saying all this to say, line up, body of Christ. Line up, line up, and those who you know straddling the fence, and you know, and, and some people will come on and say, you know, the church, you know, people, so many people speak negative of the church, and it, it's not the church, it's you. We gotta line up because when we line up, we see the church different, that we see the building different, we see that the leaders different. When we line up, when you don't know what your purpose is, you don't know who you are. That's challenging for people when you don't know who you are because. Home lives that were jacked up. You know, our parents were jacked up. You know, they did things they shouldn't have done, and we watched it, and we went and did what they did. 
That's why I choose not to do things in front of my children. Because I want my children's lives to line up with the word of God. I know my kids won't be perfect because I showed enough when I've done some stuff. But the thing is, God is trying to get your attention. I don't care who you are to come on here. Whether you have a position, a title, whether men recognize you or don't recognize you. You have got to line your life up in this hour. Last night, let me just be honest and real with you about this witchcraft crap. These witches and warlocks. And some of them will come on here and listen. God bless you. Pray your soul gets saved. Their job is to latch on to Christians. And if they can latch on to you, and then once they latch on, they, they pull you away from worship. They pull you away from the Lord. And these different spirits attach themselves to you. The, I had had something that somebody had given me. And I noticed that spirits were walking down a hallway. Yeah, I, I would be wake, and I literally hadn't slept in about a week. And if I did, I slept maybe about an hour or two each night. And the spirit was coming down the hallway. And uh, I would get up and I would pray. I would go pray over my kids. And then I saw a spirit come to my daughter's window, but my daughter wasn't here. And so the other night I grabbed my family together and I had a conversation with my family. I don't need to make sure nobody don't have any doors open. What you've been watching when I'm working? What are you watching when I'm not in your presence? What, what are you watching? What are you reading? Who's doing, who, uh, let's get this straight. Whole house had to repent. Let's get this straight because something, some spirit is coming up in here for a reason. Even though I know it's going to come regardless because we pray. We pray at Friday nights. We pray at the Power Church because of the position, because of the TV ministry. I didn't know that. But as for me and my house, oh, we're going to serve the Lord. So the Lord revealed to me that somebody had given something to me. And not only that, there was something else in here that wasn't mine. So I had to take that thing and get it out the house. Because spirits do come from things. Some people don't want to get rid of it because you pay a lot of money for it, because you just love it because it's been in your family for a long time. Okay, fine. You know what? As for me in my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And people in these sororities and fraternities, what, what, what are the words that you have to say in these sororities and these fraternities? And you're wondering why things are happening. Look, we're going to go through anyways, okay? I ain't got time for a lot of this other stuff. I just don't. And so, man, a woman of God, you want to go higher in the Lord? You know, some sisters, they come to me, they say, you know, I'm ready. Oh, I really want to serve the Lord. And some come because they just want to get on the TV, TV, uh, in front of the TV. You don't, you, you think you want to get in front of the TV. Oh, you think you want to come and do live. Oh, you think you do, because let me tell you something. It comes with a price. It comes with sometimes not sleeping at night. It comes with sometimes when, when somebody got your name on the altar and, and they praying against you. Or it comes with God, somebody bringing, or the, the Lord bringing somebody's face before you, and will you pray for them? Or will you just see them go through? It comes with the price. Whatever that we do, the anointing, whatever anointing that we walk in, it comes with the price. Like this morning, some people say, oh, man, you know, I want to see somebody all dressed up, her little blonde hair, all the lipstick, and no bags on that. Look, guess what? I've been in, in a storm. And, it, and it could, I could look worse than this. But God. But God, so I just want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, speak God's word. You know, some, some anointed men and women of God that I know, I mean, God, they are powerful, but they're killing themselves. They're killing their families with this. I don't care how, much, how many times you tell them, be careful what you say, how you speaking things over your life. They'll do it anyways. And they jacked up. They jacked up. The dog. So, so my thing is, my brothers and my sisters, in this hour, what are you doing? Doing inventory. What are you doing? What are you doing with those that are it that's in your life on your job? What are you doing with those that live people do who who cross your path throughout this journey? What are you doing? When I was called and, uh, and, and had to go sit before headquarters, sitting this dag on meeting. Let me tell you something. The God that I serve is real. The God that you and I serve is real. Holy Ghost came up in the place. Now, let me tell you something. And shifted the very atmosphere. Now, God didn't get my attention on that. I don't know what can. Shifted the very atmosphere to where it was absolutely evident. The Holy Ghost was in the place. It's like a wave came in the place. He got my attention. 
And I said, yes, Lord, you got my attention. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? He said, I'll, I'll just need a vessel. So it's like he poured his spirit in me and it just came out, bam. I'm only saying it to give him some glory because Anita ain't nothing. Because at the end of the day, I don't care how many devils you cast out. I don't care how much you can ship atmospheres. I don't care how beautiful you are. I don't care how handsome you are. I don't care how rich you are. At the end of the day, is he with you? Because if he takes his presence from you and me, we are nothing. And we can think that we're walking in his presence and we're not because we have, have, to have, have gone into our own thing. We, we've gotten so high-minded. And it can happen to anybody. So I want to encourage you, man and woman of God. First of all, shut up. You may not like it. What I'm saying is shut up. Get your mouth off men and women of God. There are some people, let me just tell you something. You and I have assignments to do. Whether it be building a church, whether it be leading worship, whatever that, that assignment is. Whether it be one person or thousands. You and I have an assignment. And when anybody gets in the way of that assignment, they got to deal with God. So I'm saying shut up to say, get your mouth off your neighbor. And put your mouth on yourself. Begin to build you up if you feel like you've been torn down. Build yourself up through worship. Get in God's word. Get up when he tell you to get up in the wee hours of the night. Put your plate down when he tell you to. I got, I got it. You know, I got this on me. I've been tearing food up and it's been good like a mug. I ain't lying. I just say that right now. I know the spirit of gluttony on me. It's good. Been woo, food is good. But Anita has to fast, and so do you. And plus, you know, some of these sicknesses and diseases. If you fast, at least now some of us have to fast once a week. Some of us got called to fast for 40 days, 30 days, 10 days, whatever. And we wouldn't have all these sicknesses in our bodies. But line up, my brothers and my sister. Allow the storm, allow the shift to get your attention. Get your mind off other folks. What they doing, what not, what they not doing. No, what you doing? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you lining up in your life? Allow God to search your heart today. Allow the Lord to search your heart. Lord, it's me. It's me, God. God, help me to see them different. Help me to hear different, God. Because there's an attack that's been loosed upon the church. I don't know if you noticed. Upon God-fearing Christians. Don't know if you noticed it or not. And if you know, they had noticed, I know you're sure enough feel it. Because the world does. Oh, them witches and warlocks, oh, they praying up a storm. Because they, th they, they think they're going to do some taking over. But guess what? Ain't nobody greater than God. Ain't nobody, ain't nothing greater than the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is looking for some people that say, use me for your glory because I'm here. Whether you send me to the star and I shift the atmosphere, whether you send me to a train station, I shift the atmosphere, wherever that you send me, you're going to shift wherever that you send me only in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. So I pray for you right now, my brothers and my sisters, whomever that comes on here, I lift you up before the throne room of God. I pray that where you've been weak, I pray Holy Ghost and Father will give you strength in Jesus' name. I pray that where you feel like you've been torn down and you've been blaming other folks in the church, I pray Holy Ghost will shift your atmosphere. I pray Holy Ghost will shift your thinking in the name of Jesus. I pray that you'll surrender your mind to Christ. Your mind will be bound to the word of God instead of yourself, instead of you looking. Because sometimes the, when, when God's hand is upon us, the enemy try to make you feel like you're crazy and that you're seeing things. There's so many demonic forces that have been released, but Holy Ghost and fire is moving. Holy Ghost and fire is moving. I thank you, Lord God, for the angels that excel in strength upon every man and woman of God that come, that you will have to listen to this, to this message, oh God, in the name of Jesus, shift their atmospheres, shift their homes, shift their marriages, shift them on their jobs. God, whatever storm that they're in, God, may they be able to 
Sianda, so above the storm, he can never be us to take it a boko sata that you can look inside the storm and see what God is trying to get your attention on in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. If you're a man pleaser, I pray that spirit be broken off you. If you're jealous, I pray that jealous spirit be broken off you. If you're full of lust and you're full of adultery, I bound that spirit and I break the powers of the devil in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that you will love your God with all of your heart, with all of, all of your mind, with all of your body, with all of your soul, that you will love the Lord, not in front of men, but even when you're in your secret place, that you will love the Lord your God. In the name of Jesus, that God will show you you. He will show you you. And if your heart has become hard, he'll turn your stony heart. He'll turn your heart if you become hard. If you become hard, that God will touch hearts, oh God. That you will touch hearts, God. If you become a thief, that God will deliver you and break that spirit of, of being a thief off you. In Jesus' name, if you have been complaining, I pray that spirit be broken off you. In the name of Jesus, uh, that spirit of jealousy be broken off you. The spirit of easily being offended be broken off you. In the name of Jesus, and that spirit of glutton upon you be broken in the name of Jesus. I bind every lustful spirit. I bind the spirit of incubus and succubus that visits you in the middle of the night. I bind that spirit and I break his powers in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I bind it up and I break his power and I send it to dry places. Those that will come on here in Jesus' name. I bind up every spirit of condemnation. I bind up every spirit of pride of, in the name of Jesus. I curse at his roots in the name of Jesus. I bind every lazy spirit, every procrastinating spirit. I bind every depressive spirit. Holy Ghost and Father, go through social media. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bless your name, God, for the angels, the warring angels that excel in strength. I lift you up, women of God, where you have become weep. The weapons of your warfare, they are not carnal, but they're mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds and every vain imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. He cannot If I were you, I put air down every spirit that's been coming against your mind and everything that's coming against this mind that comes against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. If you're spilling death, death on yourself, sickness on yourself, I pray that your mouth will shift, that God will clean your mouth up, that Holy Ghost will clean your mouth up, your thoughts up in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray your strength back. Every spirit that's not of God that's connected to you, I what his name is. Every spirit that's connected to you, that's trying to slow you down or stop you. I curse it today. Oh God, it can I feel like under the bell. So God, if you call me to come on this morning, God, I pray you, Holy Ghost and fire, burn it up. Burn up anything connected to your people. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Go through this social media in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Reset that every burden. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost and fire. He can lose my sister and lose my brother. And let them go. Every demonic force, every tormenting, harassing demonic force. Let my sister, my brother go in Jesus' name. Every spirit, I bind you up and I break your powers in the name of Jesus. I send you to dry places in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fill your people. Holy Ghost, bring our minds back. Holy Ghost, bring us back to the place that where we once fell in love, we were in love with you. And we spent time at your feet. We spent time in worship. Our hearts were pure when we just thought of things you did it because our hearts were pure. Oh, what a place to be in. In the name of Jesus. Peace upon my brothers and my sisters. I pray that thank you that the lives are lining up with your word, God. That we, the church, we, the body of Christ, are lining up with your word, Father. Lining up up with your word, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for my single, my brothers, my single brothers and my sisters. 
that they will truly love you, God, that you'll be first. That you'll be first. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray, God, for anyone that's a, a concubine to anybody that got a concubine spirit on you, I curse it in Jesus' name. That you'll be loose from the power of darkness. In Jesus' name. God, I thank and I bless you for strengthening your people today. Strengthen those that come on here today. I don't care who you are, what your name is, title, whatever. I pray God will strengthen you. I pray your strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Strength upon you, my brother and my sister. Strength, Holy Ghost, strength. God will bring you to the place where he's been trying to get your attention. The place he wants you to be, not you, not man, but what God wants you to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one who shed his blood on the cross for you and me. He suffered for me and you. Hey, glory, when I just think about it. He wasn't just only going to die. He said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. I'm going to send you a comforter. It's Holy Ghost that you'll have a prayer life in the name of Jesus, that you seek him, that you will seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these other things will come, that you'll seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will come in Jesus' name. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. Bless the Lord on my soul. God bless you. Pray you have a blessed, a successful, and a prosperous day. I thank God for the shift in your life. I thank him for the shift. I thank him for your peace that surpasses all of your understanding. I thank the Lord that as you're soaring, you can hear and you can see clear and you can look down into the storm. And you see what God is trying to get your attention on. In the name of Jesus. Only that God will be glorified. Not that you will be glorified or put on any type of a pedestal. But that he will be glorified. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. In the name of Jesus. God, I thank you and I bless you for who you are. I thank you, Lord God, for how you get our attentions. I thank you, Lord, that we're bound, our minds are bound to your word. We love you, Jesus. We're nothing without you. Absolutely nothing. I pray for those who have businesses. I pray for the mothers and <clears throat> marriages, and I pray for the fathers. I pray for the single men and the single women. I pray your strength. I pray for your ministries. God, strengthen your ministries in the name of Jesus. God will line your ministries up. God has been trying to get your attention in your ministry because you've been doing the same thing and what's work and those same old things. <clears throat> God is saying shift. So I thank God for shifting your ministry to what God wants, not you. <clears throat> not what the world wants. Not what the world likes. But what does Holy Ghost want? <clears throat> in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we give you glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I seal this prayer. I seal this prayer. <clears throat> and there will be no backlash, no retaliation, no incidents, and no accidents. In Jesus' name. God bless you, great man and woman of God. I trust God for you. That I will give you a testimony <clears throat> that will give him glory. I trust the Lord. God bless you. Have a blessed day, a peaceful day, a prosperous day, a day that shifts with the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus.